Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. So excited about how today's message came together. Uh, I'm going to read from two of my favorite books, Asha and the Tao. And I'm going to be reading from one of my favorite numbers, 11. So we're going to read the 11th verse of the Tao and the 11th statement and teaching of Asha. And I was amazed at how they came together so beautiful. They, I mean, my friends, it, it's definitely God. You're going to see this. I love it. So I, I want you to think here about that not having leads to use. Listen to the 11th verse of the Tao. 30 spokes join one hub. The wheel's use comes from the emptiness. Clay is fired to make a pot. The pot's use comes from the emptiness. Windows and doors are cut to make a room. The room's use comes from the emptiness. Therefore, having leads to profit. Not having leads to use. My friends, in the empty space, there is use. And what's funny, we could go into a whole other discussion. We now know that there really is no empty space. What we consider nothing, there's something in there, right? There's energy, there, there's a uh, substance in the nothing. We'll, we, we'll probably talk about that another day. Now look at Asha 11. It says, removing the corruption, so we're emptying, Emptying the corruption puts potentialities to their proper use. My friends, this can't be a coincidence that the 11th verse and 11th statement and teaching are saying the exact same thing. Does that blow you away like it did me today? It says, emptying the corruption puts potentialities to their proper use. So when you empty it, right, there's the use of the room. There's the use of the hub. There's the use of the clay pot. It goes on to say, you must burn out the impurities to find true essence. Purity is a must. If your vessel is mixed with poison, pour it out, empty it, and fill it with pure substance. It takes a long time to purify a vessel one drop at a time. And that, in my opinion, that's too much trust in time. Trust God, pour out your vessel, and let God fill it with himself. My friends, all the time we're talking about what to align with, right? Align our energy with good God, with positivity, with life, with health. And when we align with those things and we're now in resonance with those things and we can receive those things, but we rarely talk about the emptying process, the unaligning. My friends, if your vessel is, is filled with strife, and anxiety, and anger, and fear, and guilt, and shame, and greed. You, you can't even take into you the, that God good life. You can't. If, if there's hate, you, you have no room for love. And do you understand what I'm saying? If, if, if you're full of darkness, there's no room for the light. We have to have that emptying process, my friends. And so we need to pour out our vessel and let God good fill us with himself, fill our world with himself. But first, we need to remove the lie, the illusion, the hate, the fear, the greed. And you have more power than you realize, my friends. You can empty your vessel. Outside influences cannot influence your inside. No one can make you angry. Nobody can hurt you. In truth, my friends, you have complete control over your vibration and therefore complete control over your world. I'm going to ask you today, no matter what's going on around you, make a conscious effort to hold the highest vibration, to hold God. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he who holds my word, what's his word? It's truth. It's the original Om. It's the perfect creator's perfect idea, Asha. He who holds that has God life, my friends. So maybe even catch yourself if you start to get angry. If you start to feel guilty or shameful, if you start to feel hate or jealousy or greed or any of the evil spirit vibrations, stop yourself and, 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 and realize it. Forgive yourself and, and say, okay, do you want, we're not going to go down that route. And, and empty yourself of those things. And, and ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. Asha, fill me. Fill me love. Fill me peace, joy, kindness, goodness, godness, my friends. And, and when you start to 
make that habit and you're holding that vibration and those feelings and those emotions, you're going to change your life, your health. You're going to find your own home life and family changing. You're going to find your friends and family changing. My friends, you're going to start to change the world around you. And that's how as a collective, we're going to change the whole world to a, to a more beautiful evolution. Back to Asha, which in truth is, you know this, I love you so much, and we'll see you next time.